Rediscovering Bjorklund has been really a gift to me in my middle life. It's reconnected me with Lawrence, and I think a lot of alumni would discover that this is such a beautiful place to come for a seminar or whatever, and all of a sudden you're back on the Lawrence campus and in the Lawrence community in a way that has reawakened for me uh, a lot of the old loyalties and, and a lot of the old feelings in a really positive way. Bjorklund is an incredibly special thing that, that Lawrence has. I, I'll tell you, in the morning, I'll see the sunrise, which is for a guy who anchored Nightline for several years. I, I, I don't see a lot of sunrises, but here I do and, uh, and, and love it. And I'll, I'll do the trail along the lake and around, around through, the, uh, through the property as well. So uh, that's very special. I get a lot of good thinking done on it on those walks. It is a place where conversations take on a different dimension. People are, are relaxed, they're in this beautiful environment, but they're here at Lawrence with that same sense of purpose. Let's, let's take a look at this subject. Let's, let's take it apart. Well, this is the third seminar that I've done, so I did the campaign last year, and when I was talking with Mark Briesman about what I might do this year, he said, well, you've covered the court a lot, why don't you do that? And it turned out to be perfect timing because of the kinds of cases that came down at the end of the year. I was standing on the plaza of the Supreme Court. I knew I was holding history in my hands. I'm a good enough Supreme Court reporter to know what Anthony Kennedy had done, which is he'd broken down the doors of, of what is perceived as discrimination with the same tool, the Equal Protection Clause, that was used in Brown versus Board and in so many other landmark cases. I knew it was a moment of history. Um, and I do think that, that sense of context, that sense of asking the question, why this in a story is, is something that Lawrence gives you that I, I absolutely know has informed my work as a journalist. I absolutely know that. You know, I actually read The Republic three times at, at, at Lawrence uh, in freshman studies, and then I took a, um, and then I took a, a philosophy course from John Dreyer, and then I took a, a government course on history of political thought. So I ended up, I ended up going through The Republic pretty thoroughly <laughs> and, and actually enjoying it. What I've always thought that Lawrence does better than any college I've ever heard of is there is an earnestness in the learning and in the inquiry at Lawrence. In other words, people really want to learn and they really want to teach and they really want to share it and they want to they bat it around. It's, a, it's an incredibly vital intellectual experience, unencumbered for the most part by a lot of the extraneous social or uh, societal pressures there's something really special about the way teachers teach and students learn at Lawrence that is, I have never heard or experienced it anywhere else. It's genuine. It's genuine.